Well, welcome back to another edition of Home Inspection Bites, where we're taking the high road to give you the high ground advantage in your home inspection career. I'm your host, Derek Pomaville. Today, we're going to be talking about the best textbooks to study for the National Home Inspector exam. See, if you want to become a home inspector, if you live in a licensed state, there's a chance you're going to have to take a class and you're going to have to pass the National Home Inspector exam. And students ask me all the time, and you even see it on social media, what's the best textbook to study for the National Home Inspector exam? Well, I've studied and used all three of the most widely accepted textbooks in the industry. And each has its share of pros and cons. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Each book individually, I'll review them for you, give you a better understanding of what each one of them is all about. Well, let's get started. Now, the big three, as we'll call them, are the Principles of Home Inspection, the Practical Guide to Home Inspections, and the National Home Inspection Exam Board Tube Volume Set. Now, let's start with Principles of Home Inspection by Carson Dunlop. Okay, It's published by Dearborn Real Estate Education. Carson Dunlop's been around since about 1978. They're a Toronto, Canada-based company, and their website says they perform inspections, they teach home inspections, and they have report writing software available for purchase. Now, they were just purchased by Fax Capital. It's a Canadian investment firm. So the company seems to be moving into the next logical phase of a profitable corporation with a solid position in the market. Now, their book, The Principles of Home Inspection, it covers all the basic information a new home inspector needs to know based on the ASHI standards practice. The text is written in everyday language. It's well organized. While studying the contents, the reader kind of gets a sense of logical flow without that feeling of having missed something or being left behind or forgotten something. Now, Carson Dunlop's graphics are second to none. I've been using their illustrated home graphics in my home inspection reports for more than 20 years. And my agents, my clients, they love them. Now, they make for a great study reference, too, while preparing for the National Home Inspector exam. What's missing from their textbook, though, are pictures of actual deficiencies. I think maybe their approach to is to maybe focus intently on how things should be. Then maybe that way, recognizing defects will be that much easier. The text is around 800 pages long, and it's based on the ASHI standards practice and details construction concepts, materials, installation, defects, you know, for making a well-balanced approach to preparing for your first year in the business. And my biggest concern is the lack of updates over the years. The first edition was released, I believe, in 2003. The second edition, that's the one I'm holding right now, has a copyright of 2008. And the third and the latest edition has a copyright of 2019. So 11 years between revisions, well, that seems a little bit long when you consider how more than a dozen different codes relating to residential construction have to change every three years. So furthermore, National Home Inspector Exam is reviewed and it's updated every five years. So in that sense, theirs is kind of like a college or a high school textbook. You know, the foundational information is definitely solid, uh, but it might be lacking in some of the relevant details kind of being a little bit out of date. Make sure you have solid supplemental materials from your education provider and reference materials like the code checkbook when you're prepping for the exam. Our second book is A Practical Guide to Home Inspection by the American Home Inspectors Training Institute, or AHIT. They've been around since the early 1990s. Now, while the original founder sold the company several years ago, the company still maintains a solid presence in the home inspection industry. The course materials used to consist of seven separate books covering all the ASHI standards of practice categories. Well, back around 2014, A hits initiative to rewrite their seven books and consolidate them into one cohesive text began. So the result is what you're seeing right here, Practical Guide to Home Inspections. It's filled with detailed technical information. Their text is around 700 pages, and it's written according to their own standards of practice. It's written and organized more at a college level. The graphics are professional. Some even come right out of the code checkbooks. So unlike Carson Dunlop, a full glossary is included for easy reference and studying. Now, they call this their fourth edition, although it is the first version contained within a single book. The copyright date on this, 2015. And I couldn't find anything on their website to say that AHIT's working on a revision. So, like the Carson Dunlop book, this leaves the student a question just how much information might be out of date. So, again, you're going to want to have those solid supplementary materials. Finally, AHIT is a for-profit company, just like Carson Dunlop. So, equally, they have classes, books, software that they want to sell you. So, while this doesn't appear to affect the text relevance in any way, the fact that they're a for-profit company means revisions cost money. And they might be slow in coming. Our next text is the two-volume set 
from the National Home Inspector Exam Board. They oversee the development and the administration of the National Home Inspector Exam. The board updates the exam every five years, and this is their text for that exam preparation. It was first published as one volume in 2015, with a two-volume revision published in 2019. The original publication had 100 practice exam questions in it, which were removed from the 2019 update. At just under 1,000 pages, the text is a little bit disorganized, blending some topics together in such a way that may occasionally leave the reader feeling as though they've missed something, only to discover later that they just hadn't learned about it yet. It's written at a level similar to the other two texts, somewhere between high school and early college, but it has some distinct differences. See, while it's written by a seasoned home inspector, and it has insights into which deficiencies to report, it lacks teachable moments in report writing, the profession as a whole, and specific standards of practice. But then again, the purpose of the book is to prepare the reader for an exam, not necessarily the bigger picture of an entire career, nor does it include any state-specific standards of practice. So, that said, the book does a great job of covering the systems and components required by most standards of practice, new and old, better than the other two texts. Now, with the additional details, it becomes clear how these books are two to 300 pages longer than the other systems. Like the Practical Guide to Home Inspections, a glossary is included, and the terms and definitions are included at the beginning of every single chapter. Now, the three textbooks, the National Home Inspector Exam Board set is certainly the most recent. They're also a nonprofit organization, so there's no bells and whistles to get you excited about their textbooks. Their goal is to serve our industry by establishing and maintaining an industry standard of competence. Well, we can't pick the perfect text for you, but our insights are the result of careful reading, study, and review of all of these texts. So chances are you'll be taking a course from a school and quality materials are going to be provided to you. So when choosing which text to study, my advice is to start with the materials you have as they're often written and designed by experienced professionals whose goal it is to prepare you for a career and to pass the exam. But if you're struggling and you want to have an additional resource to reference, well then any one of these three volumes could work. Just be sure to identify your reasons for seeking out these materials. One, are you just getting into a class? Two, are you struggling with the writing style of the material that you have? Three, is the content leaving you feeling as though you missed something previously? Four, what's your focus? If all you're looking for is exam prep material to supplement what you already have, then maybe purchasing a textbook from another school might be overkill. Finally, whichever one you choose, make sure it's the latest version and remember too, price isn't always the best reason to buy. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you're seeing on our website, hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel to stay up to date on important new videos.